Hey everybody, welcome to season two of Handle the Heat. I'm your host TK, and with me today is the Minister of Skits, entertainer himself, Fashion Gobesi. Welcome to the show. How's it going, TK? Nice. Good man, good. Amazing, amazing. How are you with spicy food? How am I with spicy food? Yeah. It's my favorite, it's my thing now. Is it your I thing? am the most talented. <laughs> well, we saw your video on Instagram, and I don't know if you saw all the comments. Everyone was saying, listen, yeah. come to Handle the Heat this weekend. So in case you don't know, um, we're at 4th Avenue, 27 boxes in Marvel, and it's about to go down with Fash and Gobesi. You ready for this? Bean, bro. Because you eat wings like a gangster, yeah. you can't bow out. You actually have to go to the end. I'm hungry, first of all. You think I'm a power out? <laughs> hey, it'll be hot down there, Chief. And you're the opener of season two, so this, this has to be good. Yeah. It has to be special. You need to right. show that part. <laughs> Let's go, Smug. She's pretty. Oh. Ma'am, come see the pictures we took of you. Pictures. These are dope, huh? These are really nice, man. How do I get these? Wow, what's up? Hi, what's up? Okay, let me give you the numbers there. So you came up making skits mm. and you already know about how you already know about the Vine app in America, how it blew up mm. and created icons like King Batch, The Storm, Lolo. Was that the first inspiration? Mm. I can't lie, hey yeah, it was. But my, my favorite skit maker of all time has to be Reggie Cars. That's that's the OG yo, the G O A T of this whole thing. What 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 skit did he make that make that made you go, okay it's time, I'm about to do this. Are you mad? Oh nah. You guys don't know it because you're sleeping. <laughs> you're sleeping. Okay. But yeah, it was that one. It's, it's a very dope skit. It's, it's like six seconds. Remember Biden had like six yes. seconds. So you had to compile everything within that six seconds and get the message across and still be funny. So like that's why I look at them abroad and be like, yeah, no. By a year are dead. You know what I'm saying? Were you always identified as someone who's funny? Yeah. I've always been the goofy dude in class. Like I always been crazy. I was the you see in the class that dude that sits at a corner there, yeah, yeah just causing havoc. I was that dude. And then you realize you can actually turn your havoc into. And then I fell in love with gadgets, cameras, and all of that. That's how this whole thing came about. Okay, okay. Yeah. I like that. I like where this is going. Tell me, tell me about your relationship with Okay What's Up. You guys look like your boys, and I know he's like your. He, he might as well be your best friend at the way you guys are rolling. He's also a content creator. He's doing amazing yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's doing very well for himself, man. Okay, what's up? He's a very dope dude. He's a, he's actually the first person who showed me that skit making is possible in Zad. You know what I'm saying? Like he showed me that you could be someone off of the internet. You understand? And and by with that said, like it was also more in a direction I wanted to take. You understand? So it kind of like made sense. Yeah. That's how like it came about. He's a very dope dude. So skit making from from turning skit making into a business mm. was that the, was that a long route was that a hard route how did that go I had no plan I just wanted to be known I didn't know how I'd like make a living off of this but obviously as I grew in the game my mind expanded and I figured ways in which I could like create a bit of income like I see a pig and jam see my wings you know like smile. <laughs> You born and bred in Chiswick, Soweto? Where are you from? I'm from a small place, very corrupt place called a Yoba, 2198. So you're still a Joe Burger? Yeah. Considering the culture that we're in and the demographic that you relate to, does it, is it, does it bother you in the sense that you are appealing to a crowd that isn't necessarily your billionaire, white collar crowd? We're still gonna rob these corporates regardless of who we're from. You know what I'm saying? Like. Me being from Yoba never really blocked anything. Instead, it helped me grow my mind just to figure out ways in which I could make it out because it's a very not so easy place. Over. So I, I'm not sure if I'm answering your question, but like coming from Yoba didn't really 
have an effect as to how I do things and how I go about my age. So then what's been the biggest setback as a skit maker? Biggest setback is people people aren't sure what to label us. You know what I'm saying? Like the minute you do something good, it's like, ah, they're fine, I'll see celebrity, nothing but an internet superstar. But then the minute you do something bad, all celebrities are the same, you know what I'm saying? Like, like come on, decide on me, what are we? You know what I mean? Mm. That's it. So you have to deal with fans now and do you feel like you're forced to perform or create a character? You always, you always have to be in character. Yeah, do you yeah. feel like you can never turn it off? Well, I can, but the people don't understand that, yo, man, regardless of everything I do, I'm human. You know what I mean? Like, I'm supposed to have a bad day here and there. I'm supposed to go through the most, you understand? Would they be ready for the fashion that is not in front of a camera? Would, they, would you think your world would be ready to experience that kind of fashion? Yeah, actually. I'm a very nice dude. You find me. <laughs> but yeah, man, yeah, like camera off camera is the same home. Okay, I like this. These are dope, bro. I don't know, am I supposed to have tapped out by now? No. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations on winning your award at the Hip Hop Awards. Oh yes, 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 yes best local brand, you already know. How, how's it, how did that relationship even come about? Um, well, okay, SGOD is founded by Mpo Magua, right? Who's like a friend of mine, has been a friend of mine since primary, went to the same school. We're actually taught by the same teacher, who's his mom. You understand? So like since primary, it's been, we've been growing together. Okay, so, so Escort is a hip-hop clothing line. I wouldn't say hip hop clothing line. It's it's an urban brand, yeah. And you're an amb you ambassador now. Yeah, along with uh, a lot of other creatives, like Robot Boy, Fresh, you know, Robot Boy, MT. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of us. Okay, so what, what does 2019 look like for you and Escort? Uh, for us, yo, a lot of style Sundays, you know, because they host a lot of events. And I'm like, uh, along with uh, King Culture, Tafaya, Luazi, with the lead host. You understand? So like. A new year comes, a lot of new things, new possibilities, new events. So it's just another year of afking it up. <laughs> yep, I, I, I stuck to the I stuck to the script, fam. So I see you, I see you, I see you. Yeah, All right, it's more time for that mangadi sauce. Is this okay? I'll give you a few seconds. Mm -hmm. Are you actually tasting? Mm. You were saying? So what was your <laughs> what was your worst clip? Like what skit did you make? Did you feel that you feel this well everyone's going against it or mm. you thought this was a fail of a clip, but you're gonna leave it out there? Yo, uh in 20, 2016, I well, I must say, like I was very young in terms of my mind, I wasn't woke, you understand? I touched on a very touchy topic. Although I added humor into it, I didn't realize just how touchy it was. I don't know if I could mention it. I made a skit about rape. You know what I'm saying? Worst mistake ever. And luckily I took it down like, like it got so much hate within its first hour. And you're like, if you know it, you know it. If you don't, you don't. Like I had to take it down. That's like the worst thing I've ever done as a skit maker. Did you have to apologize? Yeah, I did. But for a country like South Africa, we are at a place where we heal through laughter, we heal through mm. comedy. Do you feel there's a major gap for you to fill and introduce or talk about topics? Because we're in a place now where yeah. influencers, internet, internet, internet content creators are now becoming the voices in society. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't necessarily have to be the president, but we have something to say and we can take a stance as a group. Do you feel you're there now? You can, you, yeah, you're yeah, slowly yeah. becoming an icon. It's not just yeah. about being funny anymore. You can talk about things. Yeah, uh, with that, yeah. But also I realized that there's some things that are just like way too deep, you know what I'm saying? Like no matter how much humor you add into it, there's always some, for example, the topic we just touched on, I had victims of very poor, like, you know what I mean, having troubles dealing with what had happened to them. And like for us to just like just casually just bring it up, okay, just get, get the views, get the laugh, you know what I mean? I learned the hard way that, yo, Fade it, we might be fun, we might be the voices. Obviously, we use satire in our skits to like tackle real topics, but some things are just a stretch, you know what I mean? And I had to learn that the hard way. Okay. Yeah.
Are you, Why are you, you crying, bro? Are you nice? No, I'm listening. I'm not crying. Good? I'm good. I saw the I saw the inhale though. Look like you. Are. Yeah. No, you got it. Got it. It burns the lips more than. <laughs> All you guys who cried very well, you know what I'm saying? I've been watching you all cry. This is how you handle it. Show this part also. Take us through the process of creating a skateboard. Mm. From idea to product. This guy's really enjoying himself. Mm. Like, these things aren't even burning him. Told you guys I came here hungry. This is, oh yeah, back to the topic, right? What was your question again? How do you take us through the process of oh, making a skit. skit? Idea to product. Okay, uh, most of my skits, right, are things I've been through. Like, every idea I come up with is either something I've experienced firsthand or something I've seen like very close to me, you know what I mean? Something I can, so that when I deliver it, can relate, you know what I'm saying? That's how, that's, that's, so that like also when you receive it, it's raw emotion, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. As it's something that I've been through. Mm -hmm. yeah, so you relate, so every skit you make, you relate to personally? Yeah. Which okay. skit, which skit was too personal, which skit, which skit was very personal for you? But like it, it brought the, like the biggest yeah, results. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you, I don't know if I can say this, but when you bring a girl over and she thinks we're there to chill, Nah, fam. You know that it's time to skate. You know that. Like, yeah, there's a there's a skit I I made. I think 2016. It's like when you bring your girl over, and then as soon as she enters the door, when the camera turned back to me, I was already naked. Nah, actually, I feel like I'm even getting more sauce from my plate. What is this? A plate? This one, Lechandis. Tray. Yeah, Lechandis. He tray. Why am I sniffing? Because you're not a gangster. You're not a gangster. So, among this comedy network, or network of comedians and skit makers mm -hmm. in South Africa, who do you look up to the most? Who's your top? I, I don't ask who's your top five because you're all friends. You can't yeah. rate, but you guys are like a network. Right, number one, this other guy called the Minister of Skits. Flash. You know what I'm saying? I mean, come on. No, no, no. Number two. Has to be my boy Tafaya, very funny to me. Yeah. Number three, I gotta give it to uh, there's a lady called Shumela. I don't know if you'll know her. Daur, she's close, so you'll better check out. Number four, there's a lady called um, Lebu, uh, Sesi Makoya, she's very dope. And number five, have to give it to Leon. Okay. Leon Kumete is from Durban. He's very. Dope. He's doing the most. At most. Does that make sense? Yeah. I, then uh, my top five in real life, okay, obviously Trevor. Now then, that's our timer. Kakiso mm. Lidika. Um, what's the new homie's name? He just went to Comedy Central. Louis Louis Mandinga. Louis Mandinga. Yeah. What's his name? Mandinga. Mandinga. Uh, Ebenezer. As well as uh, number five, so you can have that. You like racist it, everyone. You like rated without According even to be. without yeah. a heartbeat. You're like, you know what? It's my top five. <laughs> yeah, like come on, I, I I I love comedy so much, man. So really what I'm saying is something that's always in my head. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah. Yeah. Alright, you easily brush through Heaven's Original all the way to vintage. Mm. It's time for the last one. Do you guys have more wings, Lapo? Wow. No. Shots fired. More sauces? No. Wow. Come on, I can't be owning you on your show. Or drink some milk. Hmm. Gangsters. This guy was real. Yeah, this is my ish. Well, back to the last one now. Yeah, yeah. It's not that. I don't know if you're gonna say last praise, because you're doing well, but you don't know what the last one's like. I feel like it, don't, it ain't even sourced enough. Yeah, it's not sourced enough. It's sourced on one side, it's sourced the other side. Bam. Ha. You ready now? Ha. Yep. Sorry, I won't do this because I know what I'm getting into. I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm a gangster. That's what's wrong with me. <laughs> a wing gangster. You ready? Trust. Blue 
you're saying? You're not far from my level. Remember my level? Yep. Yeah, you're not far yeah, from my level. Yeah, 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 And it's still not hurting you? I see your bro, eyes are watering. you're crying, bro. Yeah. Are you cool? I'm not gonna lie. This stuff's hot. Got this. Mm, mm, mm. By 2019, first of all, we're gonna kick started with our high school tour. I, alongside my team, Jan Entertainment. We're just gonna be touring around high schools, entertaining, sharing knowledge. Bro, you good? I'm good, I'm listening. <laughs> listening very well. We're gonna kick start with that. I got the Red Bull tour. As always, every year, it's like a yearly tour. We, we tour campuses <laughs> with like, <coughs> like five. <laughs> it's stuck out here. It's not hot. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Anyway, yeah, um, it's the Red Bull tour. Um, they've got the Janet to take. I'm, I'm gonna be releasing a lot of music as well. You know, it's gonna shock. You releasing music? Me? Okay. I got you a SoundCloud link. Well, I'ma give it to you. I have it. I'm gonna take it some water. Uh, what else, Shane? What else we got? Nice things. Oh yeah, um, there's also, I'm continuing, I'm extending my contract with MTN News. What's happening everybody, it's your boy Fashion Gobese. I just came through here and I dusted the wing challenge. Yeah man, you can catch all of me on, on every social media, on, on every social media, on, on every social media. Snap, I just messed up my whole speech. <laughs> Let's start again. <laughs> I don't know what's happening on the other side of bro. It's, it's, it's affecting everything but me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sweating. My speech is vying. Can I talk to this one? <laughs> Otherwise, man, it's your boy Fash. It's been real, man. I just came through. I handled the Hot Wings Challenge like a real gangster. You can get a hold of me everywhere. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube at Fash Space and Gobes. F-A-S-H Space N G O B E S E. I've been your boy. And I just dusted they bring me more wings. I'm out. Gangsta, I just ended it like a gangster. Did y'all see that?